Hey tech fans, welcome back. You're watching Gigabyte's official Motherboards and Bricks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Leon Chen, and today we have another unboxing for you. We're going to be unboxing the ORS Z270X Gaming K7. For those of you guys that aren't familiar with ORS, ORS is a premium gaming brand powered by Gigabyte. So without further ado, let's look right, let's look at the box and we can start with our unboxing. So right here you can see this board supports RGB Fusion technology, it has Smart Fan 5, and it has a killer nick, and of course it's VR ready. If any of you guys out there wanna be VR pioneers, make sure you get an ORS motherboard because it'll meet most of the requirements that you're looking for to satisfy those VR conditions. As we move a little bit more to the left, you can see that it has an Intel chipset logo, and this logo shows that it supports the Z270 chipset. This chipset is backwards compatible with seventh and sixth generation Intel Core processors. And of course, with that being said, it has Intel Optane memory support and it's Intel Optane ready. So when that technology does come out from Intel, you'll be able to take advantage of it and get the most speed out of your system. Keep in mind for Optane, you need to have a compatible seventh gen core processor for it to work. Let's flip the board over so you can see what's the box over and you can see what other features we have included with this motherboard. We talked about RGB Fusion, it has some LED strip compatibility as well as an LED overlay which we'll talk a little bit more when we're looking directly at the board. We also have some great audio on it with some audio software from Sound Blaster. And of course, our cooling we spoke about earlier, Smart Fan 5. Now, on the box we list directly how many thermal sensors which it has six on this board and an another five hybrid fan pin headers. Now, all of the hybrid fan pin headers can automatically detect between voltage mode and PWM mode. So users that aren't familiar with this technology can rest assured by all they have to do is just connect the fan to the pin header. And of course, it has a killer NIC and an Intel NIC so users can pick the one that they prefer. And it has, supports next generation transfer speeds with triple NVMe support. And of course, it has USB 3.1. Now. Down here you'll see a lot of the other ultra durable technologies that many of you guys have heard of previously before. One of the ones I'd like to point out would be the USB DAC Up 2. DAC Up 2 is our second iteration of USB DAC Up and it still provides the clean power but one of the additional features that we've added is it now has adjustable voltage. And the benefits are for power hungry devices. If you have an RGB lit keyboard or if you have a VR headset and these are very demanding for power, you can actually connect it to this USB DAC up 2 port and it'll satisfy those conditions and ensure that you have the best connection quality available. So that covers most of the box front and back. Let's take the accessories out and look at have a closer look at the board. Alright guys, we have all the accessories laid out so you get your usuals, you have your user's manual, you have a multilingual installation guide and of course Gigabyte does have a guide online if you guys aren't familiar with how to do, do it yourself and how to build your own PC. One of the other things we've included is a driver disk but to, be, to ensure that you have the most updated drivers be sure to check out the gigabyte.com site or the orus.com site for the product that you have. Now, we. For, this, for the gaming K7, we've included, of course, your padded, rear padded I.O. with an Oris label on it. You have two packs of SATA cables, each with a right angle cable. That gives you a total of four SATA cables. And of course, we have cable ties and some stickers to label your SATA cables so you can differentiate which cable does what and which drive it, it goes for. Moving to the left here, you can see we also have an RGBW extension cable. This cable connects to the board and extends out and connects to an RGBW or RGBUV LED strip, depending on what you want to use. We've included one SLI bridge, an ORS case badge, a G connector to make sure that your cables, your front panel cables are always connected in a neat and orderly fashion and of course some HDMI and display port plugs. If you plan on using a dedicated or discrete graphics card you can make sure that your, your rear I.O. doesn't get filled with dust on your HDMI and display port ports. Alright so let's swing the camera around and have a look at the board. 
All right, guys, so we saw the box. We saw what's inside the box. Now it's time to look at the board. So to my left here, this is the Oris Gaming K7, and you can see on the rear I.O. it has this armor in white as well as along the audio portion. And right here, there's actually a translucent area that stretches from the top of the board over to the bottom where the rear I.O. is. And in our RGB Fusion basic mode introduction, it actually shows you the different patterns you can get from it. And this is one of the neat ones that you can see with wave mode. Now let's look a little bit more on the PCB. Of course, we have the heat sinks here, the CPU socket. This is for an LGA 1151. And like we mentioned earlier, it supports both seventh and sixth generation processors. We have two CPU fans right here, uh, one for the CPU and one for a pump, which we label as CPU optional. We have an OC and an eco mode button on the top there. If you guys want to get into overclocking, we do have a very beginner level overclocking guide for you to reference off of on our website. We also have the LED accent, uh, the accent overlays for RGB fusion and this can actually be removed or changed and if you follow us on Facebook, if you follow us at any of the gaming events, we may have some that are pre-made and custom for those, uh, for those giveaways. Now, of course, on our dim slots, you can see that in between we do have diffusers to make sure that we get that RGB light coming out. So depending on whatever colors users choose to use, this is definitely something that will sh shine out uh, for that RGB fusion. Another set of fan headers, and we have two USB 3.0s, your SATA ports, and U.2. And of course, your front panel pin headers that allow you to use that G connector. We have debug LED, a debug LED here, as well as one of the new introductions to the Oris gaming lineup would be our diagnostic LEDs. Now these diagnostic LEDs show if there's any issues with the graphics card, the CPU, or memory, and one of these lights will, LEDs on the board will light up referencing to which location, so it actually helps you troubleshoot a lot faster. Two more USB 2.0 front panel headers, and right here, there's a set of five pins right at the bottom, and this is actually your RGBW pin header. Now, this, these pin headers are very unique because uh, they support RGBW, the W stands for white, and with that, you get truer and more vibrant whites as well as brighter colors, and you can also support UV. So if you wanna get a black light feel, you wanna have a, a case that has UV reactive paint, or UV reactive cabling, you can definitely do that as well. And one of the features that RGB Fusion allows you to do is to actually interchange or recalibrate your RGB pin definition. So if you purchase strips that are GRB, RGB, or BGR, you can actually change it within the system to respond accordingly to what's actually what the cable was made from. And as we move over, you have your audio zone, you have a removable op amp, and you, of course you have the high-end audio capacitors meant for, um, for gaming. We also have two M.2s right here. So if you want to use M.2 for any type of NVMEs that you guys want to install on your next generation gaming PC, this Oris board does support that. Let's look at the rear I.O. to see what you get on connectivity. So of course, you have your PS2 combo port, you have the two USB DAC of two ports that we talked about earlier. Great for VR headsets, any type of gaming peripherals from uh, mechanical keyboards, gaming mice, gaming headsets. And then right below that, you have your HDMI and your display port if you plan to use your integrated graphics. You have your USB 3.1 in Gen 2, which is in Type C as well as in Type A. And then you have your Intel NIC and your Killer NIC up at top. So depending on what you want to use, you can check the user manual to see which one uh, you prefer and you can use that one accordingly to use uh, access the internet. Two USB 2.0s and another two USB 3.0s and your audio ports. So again, if you guys have any questions or if there's any other information you're looking for on the Oris Z270X Gaming K7, be sure to check out the Oris website or gigabyte.com. Uh, if you guys are interested in any sweepstakes or contests, be sure to like us, uh, like our Facebook page, that's facebook.com forward slash gigabyte motherboards. Again, you're watching the official Gigabyte Motherboards and Bricks channel. It was a pleasure having you, and we'll see you next time.